Hey everybody, it's Mr. Moves 87 here, bringing you a brand new Let's Play. If you're a fan of old school action RPGs that are heavy on puzzle elements and has a kick-ass soundtrack, I think you'll enjoy Let's Play Brain Lord for the Super Nintendo. This game right here, another one of my favorite classes of the system, also a very underrated gem at that. Um, this game flew on under the radar quite a bit back then. Um, and not, not, yeah, I'm not even sure how we discovered it actually. We kind of just bought it on a whim, I think, way back when. Um, and we all loved it, my brother and I. It's really, really fun and also a fair bit challenging at that. So let's go ahead and get started, shall we? Uh, let's go ahead and uh, start a new file here and jump right into it. Uh, the little intro there, it's just a little like demo of the game, but I'll worry about that. Yeah, some other time, really. Let's go and put in our name right here. I'll just go with my name, of course. I think that makes sense. And we'll see what's going on here, shall we? Now, what's going on over here? Well, clearly it's a flashback here because I can tell of the uh, the gray tone in the background. Oh, you're leaving already? But I, I've only known that you existed, like right now. Ooh, the dragon story. That sounds fun. I like that. Oh, uh, I don't think so. That might be a good idea to let us know about that. It's like, before you go on this dangerous journey and never return. Oh, that sounds fun. Can I do that? Hmm, so, like, Pokemon in a way. Sort of. A great battle in an RPG? No way. That never happens. It's weird. And the Tower of Light, huh? Surely we'll never go there. That would just be silly. I mean, come on now. Plus, we don't know where it is, so, like, nope. Out of sight, out of mind. We'll never find it. Never go there. Nope, 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 nope. Okay, well, I'll try my best. I can, I can do that. Okay, uh, bye. And we'll never see him again. Actually, no, we uh, really don't, actually. So, there you go. So yeah, neat little uh, intro scene there to do some flashback and some insight on the uh, story itself. And yeah, this, this, is a, this is a Super Nintendo game, so the story is pretty straightforward, really. But I mean, we'll delve into it more as we go along. Hey, what's going on? Uh, Ryan, it looks like. Oh? Warrior or sorcerer wanted at the dragon's house. A dragon lives here? Odd. Hmm, that sounds surprising. Oh, yeah, that sounds fun. Can we do that? But he, Tower of Light, typo already in the first three minutes of the game. Nice. <laughs> and of course, as we all know, legends and RPGs are always true. <laughs> the dreaded Lord of Evil. Great name there, bruh. Super intimidating also. Yeah, the translation for this is a little bit wonky. Um... But I mean, it's still a fun game. I did it, that's why I'm LP in it, so there you go. Um, well, apparently so. Hi, nice to meet ya. Oh, well, hey, thanks. You guys seem pretty, uh, polite and all that. Let's go ahead and see what this is, shall we? Press the, uh, B button, and then you can, uh, read stuff. The Northern Highway and Art Arts Village will be open temporarily. Ooh, neat. To feed the monsters around the highway, travel to the Tower of Light where the dragon lives. Sounds like fun. Ooh, dragon scales. I like those. Warriors, swordsmen, soldiers, sorcerers, mercenaries. Okay, well, hey, it's not that fun. And, uh, Marlin the Blacksmith. Okay, well, hey, sounds good to me. Well, hey, uh, that's, um, that sounds good to me. I start with five grand already, so that's good to know, at least. Ah, okay, well, sure, I'll do that. Tower of Light. Yeah, it sounds pretty fun. Surely it's not dangerous at all or anything. Uh, what do you mean by that? It sounds kind of ominous. Hey, well, never mind that. Uh, let's go and know, do some exploring here for right now. To the Rannell House. Oh. oh okay, well, I'll stop over there uh, later, actually. Hmm, works for me. 
Second story house behind the hotel. Yeah, we'll be going over there uh, in due time. Uh, let's go ahead and actually talk to... Uh, oh. Oh, sorry. D didn't know you were up here. Sorry. Sorry. My bad. Also, how did you get up here before I did? Weird. Huh, anyway. Okay, this dude right here is very important. Um, he sells what are known as Jade, actually. Essentially, they're little, like, fair fairies that help you in battle. They have different effects there. Some will use elemental attacks. Some will raise your stats. Some will, like, heal your HP and all that. Let's go and see what we have here. We have the uh, Deceased Jade, and he tells you what they do as well. This one I personally don't like that much. I, well, it's it's good. It, it revives you and all that, but I don't re really care for that that much, really. I'm uh, moving on to the uh, Power Jade. This one I will want to buy eventually. Now, in FYI... Um, I'll, I'll, I'll be doing some more money grinding here, like, pretty soon, actually, off-camera. Uh, some of these jade you can buy are very, very worthwhile. This one in particular. Um, so that one, yeah, I'll be, I'll be buying here, uh, later on. Um, let's see, we have the uh, lightning jade that shoots lightning, of course. Um, pretty expensive, though, so I will pass on that one for right now. Um, let's see, next up we have the uh, water jade that shoots water, of course. And let's see, then the final one here, which I also want to buy... The Anger Jade. This one is very, 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 very good. I wanted to say very and really together, and it came out like very or whatever, so yeah. But yeah, those two, the Power Jade and the Anger Jade, I will definitely want to buy after a while. It takes a while to grind for the money for them, but you'll see the grinding in this game is actually pretty easy. Um, there's no actual experience points, you just grind for money. And enemies will, will respawn, actually, too. So yeah, money is it's not hard to come by in this game, it's really not. Oh, can I talk to you? There we go. Oh? Oh, they're just chores. I mean, you're supposed to do chores. I mean, even if you were the son of a weapons dealer, you still have chores to do anyway. So, there you go. <coughs> okay. Let's go ahead and uh, make our way over to that, um... To that house over there and clear out those mice, shall we? So yeah, it's a house behind the hotel over here. Oh, up north, by the way. Yeah, over here, by the way, we can't get to yet. It goes to Toronto, which is apparently Canada, which is to the south, oddly enough. Yeah, we'll be going over there uh, much later on, actually. Oh, actually, yeah, I just talked to him, actually. Yeah, we'll be buying plenty of jade later on. I might very well buy all of the jade, um, just to have, really. Although, it takes a while to level them up, so I may or may not, actually. I'll, I might only buy the ones that I find worthwhile to use. Well, it sure seems like it, but apparently there's one nearby the Tower of Lights, so we'll have to keep an eye out for that. Oh, there should be, uh, Mrs. Raynell, I would assume? Oh, sure. Oh, I can do that. Yeah, no problem. It's a carrying soul. Because here's how combat works. Pretty much, B button is your weapon. Uh, we have a sword for right now, but we'll get more as we go along. And then also, you see the, the little square in the bottom left there? Uh, we'll be able to use magic as well, um, but not for the immediate future. Um, you, you, know, you can buy spells later on and also find them in dungeons. So there you go. There you go. And also, yeah, kill enemies. The 100, 100 right there is your money, so the G is uh, gold, of course. Grab this chest for a butler. That's our uh, first shield of the game. So go ahead and uh, open. start to your menu. Go over to items and equip the shield. And you equip that. And it has a... Th Endurance rate of 30, right? So pretty much you hold, I believe it's the, uh, I think it's Y, actually. You hold out your shield, and you'll parry enemy attacks for 30 times. Once it hits 30, it'll break, actually. So you gotta be a little careful about that one. Ooh, a scrap of paper. Let's go ahead and, uh, read that. Hi, Bumpy. Let's see, let's go over here. Found in the attic of the Raynell house. Hmm, what's readable on here? When with Roan to the Tower of Light, divided into four parts... Down the hidden staircase, first floor, that room, showed up the fairy source. Ooh, we'll have to keep that in mind for later, then. Also, you, uh, you didn't jump as well with the with the A button there, so there you go. Yeah, we'll be jumping a lot in this game. There are a lot of platforming elements in this game. A lot of them also are very devious, and I will probably fall a lot. <laughs> but I'll worry about that later on. Uh, let's see, where to next? Oh, what we're supposed to do, actually, is right over uh, here. Oh, no, no, actually, well, actually, wait, while I'm here real quick, um, this is the, uh, magic shop, let's talk to the uh, old lady here, and you'll be able to uh, buy some spells from her with the magic medallion, um, three of them for, uh, oh, I thought there were three here, uh, okay, well, four for right now, this one, magic shield, I will want to buy later on, it puts a barrier in front of you, 
If enemies touch that, they'll take damage. So that alone is actually pretty useful. Um, but yeah, I'll buy that uh, later on. Um, here we have the uh, Impulse spell. I forget what that one does, actually. Um, eh, oh well. Uh, the Bound spell, I think that just like paralyzes enemies. I never use that. And finally, we have uh, Slow. I don't use that either. Um, but if I recall, impul Impulse can actually be pretty decent. So I might want to buy that later on. But yeah, definitely Magic Shield for sure. Oh. Hmm. Well, you should be okay. I mean, we have soldiers around here to uh, protect the town, so nothing to worry about there. Hi, puppies. But here's where we're supposed to go. This would be uh, Marlin, the uh, blacksmith dealer. Yeah, that's, uh... Yeah, we're going there, too. Ooh, ten grand each. Nice. Man, a sword made out, made out of dragon scales? I want that. Pompey, leave him alone. You see him, like, snarling at you. Leave him alone. Aw, oh, big puppy yawn. <laughs> big handsome puppy. Oh, yeah, uh, before anything else, let's go ahead and also stop over here. And see, this would be the other uh, chapel. Hi. You're just digging a hole. Huh, keep that in mind for later, actually. That'll come into play in, in the future. Oh, that sounds fun. Well, that's where we're going to, eventually. Um, oh, that'd be Rune up there, by the way. Um, oh, yeah, I can do that. Um, not sure how I can help, but I mean, I'll try my best. Oh, it's a scroll, actually. Oh, it is kind of, I mean, it looks like a chapel as well. Yeah, chapel, scroll, same thing, I suppose, really. Oh, well, we'll have to go up and take care of that. Can you two, like, stop? Like, really? I'm trying to, like, record and stuff, and you're being all grumbly. Eh, whatever. Okay, so before heading up to the uh, the highway up there, let's go ahead and we'll buy some stuff. Okay, this will be the other uh, tool shop over here that sells, well, useful things. Well, yeah, I, I walked to the front door, so, you know. Now, I'm down below there, there, there is yeah, a weapon shop, but the guy doesn't sell anything for right now, unfortunately. So, yeah, only items for the time being. And axe, I don't have one yet. Oh, well, hey, good for you, um, dick. Uh, but yeah, we'll, we'll get an axe in the future. Okay, so what I want to buy... There's a few things I want to buy here, actually, before I uh, head off here. Um, let's see, well, we have healing items here, apple and cheese. The apple heals, I believe, 3 HP. The cheese heals 6. Uh, warp gate here will take you to either a town you've already been to, or a previous floor as well. Um, we also have, you know, cape herb. I forget what those do, actually. I don't really care for that. Um... We also have the antidote orb here that cures poison. Not really needed for right now. Uh, I will buy some of those later on, though. I uh, or I can buy one now. <laughs> Whatever. And also, what else do we have here? We have oh, these orbs here. Uh, barrier capsule, which raises your defense for a period of time. I'm pretty sure. And then you also have over here the power capsule that raises your attack over for a period of time. So there's those anyway. Okay, now I want to buy a few apples here. They're fairly cheap, 500 bucks a piece. Now, the cheese, however, is very expensive. It's uh, 1500 bucks, but I'll probably buy one of those as well. Uh, let's go ahead and buy eh, one more apple to be on the safe side. Well, actually, wait, no. Let's do one more apple for a three grand there. We'll get down to three grand. And then buy one thing of cheese. Oh, a thousand bucks. I thought that was more than a thousand. No, well. So I'll buy one of those, buy a warp date for 1500 bucks to have just for later on, really. And then one more apple. There you go, so that's all full for there for right now. Uh, by the way, too, we have yeah, a limited inventory space, actually. Um, I think four pages? Three or four? Yeah, yeah, only three pages worth of items, actually. So you got to be a little careful with your uh, inventory management there. But plenty of times, too, we, we can just toss out items or just use them and we'll be fine. So nothing to worry about there. Oh, yeah, he's right over, down and left over there. Oh, no, that's the blacksmith. The arms dealer would be down below there. Okay, let's go ahead and make your way up here now. If you went up here before, bef um, before he talked to Marlin, this guy wouldn't let you pass. So there you go. You have to jump well. Yeah, I'll be up showing that off here in uh, due time. Just sitting back and enjoying the music. 
this game does have a really neat, fun little soundtrack too. I like it a lot. So anyway, new enemies around here take three hits to kill with your sword, and also give you 200 bucks. And also, after a little while, I'll show it off here in a bit. Um, if you go so far north here, and then let's go back down south. Actually, enemies will respawn uh, shortly thereafter. So <coughs> that alone will be great for a money grinding, which I will be doing here later on. Not right here though. There's a better area that I'll want to do that here upcoming. Yeah, enemies will now and then uh, drop items for you as well. They might drop an apple or, or some cheese, or you saw a heart there as well, which restores your HP by one point there. So there you go. Press. What is your what is your malfunction? But anyway, with the cliff sides here, just uh, press A to jump up there, nice and easy. Make your way over here. Take out that guy real quick. You have three to kill with your sword, no, so nothing, nothing too much to worry about there. And yeah, by the way, too, um, with the shield there, like I showed earlier, you can um, hold it out yourself there, or you're also uh, blocking en en enemies attached on your own as well. But that will, again, lower its uh, endurance rating, so there you go. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, make your way down here real quick. Curl off these guys. Yeah, nice and easy there. My shield will probably break sooner or later. I don't really care that much, in all honesty. What I do care about here is a Crimson Jade. Let's go ahead and name this one here. Um, I have a name for you in mind. Um, pretty basic, but it means it's a Fire-type Jade, so Pyro will uh, work there. Now, to uh, use a Jade, you have to go over to your item spot here, find the uh, Jade in your slot here. I'll use Fireballs, and then just use him. And there you go, so yeah, he'll pop out there, and yeah, he'll shoot fireballs at, at enemies. And let's also grab this chest real quick here, for the heart, nice. Now what those do, kind of like um, a full heart piece in uh, Zelda games, uh, boost your HP by one. So there we go. And now uh, two more things I want to do over here real quick. Uh, with the Jade here, how they level up, um, let's go ahead and go into uh, status here, and then go off to Pyro. Um, experience points, you need 150 for a level, right? At this point now, enemies will start dropping little blue orbs, which will give your Jade experience points. They'll pick them up automatically. Now, I believe the Jade has to actually get the kill for them to appear, I think, anyway. Although, it might help more to do that, although I think they still do drop them regardless. But yeah, whenever you see a blue orb pop up, the Jade will grab it by itself for experience points there. Now, one thing also, um, as far as my money grinding goes, to make that easier on me, um, let's go ahead and use our return command here. That brings you back to the the entrance of the room here. So in my case, the staircase right there. And now enemies will respawn. So I'll be doing this for a while, actually. Um, I want to pick up some more items um, like to buy later on. Um, like more cheese, more apples, a couple more warp gates, all the good stuff there. And then, and then I want to buy some more jade as well. The power jade and the anger jade as well. So it'll take me a lot of money to do, but I think they're highly worthwhile. And plus, with the return command here, it won't take that long to do. And a, a note as well, it's entirely optional to do this as well. You don't have to if you don't want to. It would be a good idea to at least grab the power jade to, to boost your attack power. It makes things die more quickly, and that, that's always good. So yeah, just, just do that. So yeah, 600 bucks each time, nice and quick there. So I'll take care of that off camera here, and then we'll continue onwards toward the Tower of Light next time on, on Let's Play Brain Lord. This has been Mr. Moves 87 signing off, guys. Have a great day, and thanks for watching.